liebe Zuschauerinnen und Zuschauer, in diesem Jahr ist alles so ein bisschen anders, auch die Berlinale. Deswegen gibt es dieses Jahr ein Berlin Talents Programm, was die ganze Woche Talents der Berlinale vorstellt. Und auch wir möchten Interviews mit diesen Talents führen. Heute bei mir zu Gast ist Maria Eriksson Hecht. Sie ist Filmemacherin aus Schweden und sie hat einen sehr interessanten Kurzfilm über das Thema Cyber. Kriminalität gedreht. Das, der heißt I think I have a crush on you. Und bevor ich mit Maria spreche, würde ich sagen, schauen wir uns einen kleinen Teil dieses Films an. Film ab. So, hi Maria, thank you for being here. We just saw a clip of your film, I think I have a crush on you. And I just want to ask you, what inspired you to make the film and how did you get in touch with the topic? Uh, well, yes, uh, thank you for <laughs> inviting me. Um, this, this was actually a question I got uh, as, a, as, a, as a work to, to, to do this film. I was asked to do a film about grooming, which is uh, the, the, the word for uh, sexual abuse on uh, minors over the internet. Mm -hmm. So, and I didn't know much at all about this. And when I started to read about it, I was... Uh, totally shocked. Uh, so I, I was uh, very, very upset. And uh, I, I, I uh, had the feeling that I did, this was a very important film to do uh, because it's very few films out there about this. So yeah, I, I read a lot about it and I read a lot of legal cases um, about this. Okay, so you don't know um, people who've been affected by cyber um, crime themselves. So you you uh, wanted to make the film. It was like you. What was your intention for? Uh, what was your goal to? Yeah, the goal is to to highlight this topic, to talk about this uh, subject. Uh, the goal was that that uh, this should uh, both be be talked about. Uh, among kids, but also among kids and parents and in school and stuff. So it, this was really like something where we wanted to uh, to talk about this because it's so little uh, knowledge about it. Um, and I, I didn't know people then that had been affected of it that I know. It's very much uh, uh, shame around this, so you don't know uh, that much from, from people, but... Uh, And when uh, the film was made, I, I did get in contact with people through the internet mm -hmm. because it's on YouTube now. So it's been a lot of kids uh, writing uh, uh, about that they um, see themselves in the film and they have been gone through the exactly the same thing. Yeah, it's a really great message. So, And your film has already um, three million views on, on YouTube. Uh, what is really much um do you think that the film has already like made a difference or do you get any reactions of the film that say okay it, it helped me uh, it has actually uh, five over five millions <laughs> over five millions <laughs> yeah. even better <laughs> the english version has uh, three millions but then it's also a swedish version uh, oh. out there 
like with the no English subtitles and that has uh, over 2 million so it's uh, in Sweden only like we have 8 million people here but it's been over 2 million views on it. Uh, I know that it has affected a lot of people because um, um, yeah, I got a lot of reactions uh, on the film and I know that it has uh, also been something that has been seen by parents as well and got a lot of reactions among them. So uh, the families have used the film, parents have used it to talk about this with their children uh, and it's also used out in schools all over Sweden uh, and I know pupils that have asked their teacher that they wanted to see it in the classroom to talk about it. Um, so it's a, it's, a, it's a film made for youth, but it's also for, for, for the people who has youth in their surroundings. So yeah, yeah it, has, it, has, uh, it has affected quite much. I, I have got a very strong response on it. That's great, that's great. Um, and talking about you um, as a filmmaker, what made you decide to become a filmmaker in general and what excites you about filmmaking? <laughs> um, from, from the start, it's, uh, ju it's uh, just my love for cinema. It, that's where it started from the first place that I really love cinema. I'm sort of a film nerd ish. Uh, always watched a lot of films and really love going into another world. Um, but then when I have, uh, after a while, it started to be also more about telling stories that it's important to me and to highlight uh, social subjects. So I, I want to use cinema as a tool to, like this film, for example, to, to talk about social subjects because, yeah, cinema is a very, very powerful emotional tool mm -hmm. to, to, to make people think and feel. Mm. And uh, do you have any tips for young filmmakers who want to become filmmakers themselves? Yeah, first <laughs> I would, uh, they should ask themselves if, if uh, they have to do it, because if they don't have to do it, they should do something else, because it's really, it's really, <laughs> it's really hard, but also wonderful. So that's my first tip. And then my second tip would probably be to find your crew, like uh, creative people that you have a, a similar taste as, uh, and to, to where you can grow together and find a, like uh, develop your own cinema language together with your, your creative crew. That would be yeah, what my, my main tip to find people that you like to work with. Great. That's mm. also some amazing tips, I guess. <laughs> also the first one. So, <laughs> um, Okay. And talking about the Berlin Talents Week, what are you most looking forward to about the program? Uh, I, I, I think it's the master classes uh, because I really, I'm, I, I don't go to school anymore, uh, in, uh, to film school. I'm actually teaching rather a bit, uh, uh, film directing, but this is also a way to, yeah, to, to be like a student again, to, to go to master classes. So I really look forward to all the master classes because it's really cool names that they have have there like Celine Schiama is one of my inspirations so uh, mm -hmm. I really look forward to that masterclass yeah okay great um and uh, what classes are you attending to go to Ooh, I haven't looked that much into the program yet but I plan to go to all of them <laughs> <laughs> okay um, definitely the, the Celine Schiama uh, will be my um Top priority, but I, I'm, I, I will attend all of all of, all of the uh, program. Great, and maybe you can tell us something about a project that you're working on right now. Like, um, what are you dealing with um, at the moment? At the moment, I'm finishing a, a short film, a new one that I, I shot this summer. Um, so it's soon finished, and it's also about um, how, how like kids uh, having to take be adults way too early. That's not what the, the short film in Berlinale is exactly about, but it's about the young people are forced in a difficult situation. So, so um, 
I did that one, so I'm finishing it. And, and I'm also working on a feature film that's quite far in development. So that will be my first feature. Yeah. So do you like making films concerning young people? So is it like, uh, is it your goal to, to reach to young people? Yeah, one of them. Not not only, of course, I will not always uh, do just about yeah. but youth, but that's, that's, yeah, I'm very interested in working with young people, both um, because I really like working with them in front of the camera and those, those stories uh, interest me a lot because it's a time in life where so much is at stake and, and what happens when you are like 10, 15, 17, it really defines you as a person for a long time. So it's, uh, um, yeah, and also it's yeah, an important subject in society, what's, what's going on with the young people and how are they affected about how the society develops. Yeah, of course. So I think it's really cool that you help young people and um, send a message to them. Uh, with your movies and yeah we're already at the end of our talk today thank you so much for taking the time and yeah <laughs> see you on saturday bye 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 ja, und auch vielen Dank, liebe Zuschauer und ZuschauerInnen, fürs Einschalten. Seid auch morgen wieder dabei, wenn das nächste Talent interviewt wird und auch am Samstag bei unserer Abschlusssendung. Da werden wir ähm, nochmal alle Talents wiedersehen, mit denen wir uns unterhalten haben und genau sind live um 15 Uhr. Also seid dabei, schaltet ein und bis dahin. <lacht>